Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be an unboxing of this really cute little pouch, um, a stationary pouch that I found on Amazon. It took about three weeks to get here and it was around $10. And I wanna show you why I bought this pouch despite other pouches that I own. So let me unbox. <clears throat> so this particular pouch in the photos that it shows, I like that it comes with these open pouches. And the reason why in the photos that you see in the Amazon listing, post-it notes. And here's the thing, anytime I go work at a coffee shop or even my own apartment, sometimes I work in different places of my apartment, I like to have things in a pouch because you can just grab the pouch and move it, throw it in your backpack, you know, wherever you need to be. And I really liked the concept of having easy access to, um, you know, maybe washi tape, the post-it notes, of course. And of course, sometimes I use novelty paper clips just to clip things in. But the one that I got was beige. I believe there were other colors that might have come sooner but I waited for the beige. If they would have had black, I would have definitely gotten the black since I try to get everything that's gonna match just so, you know, in case colors come in and out of style. This was the only decent one to me was the beige that could also go with black. Everything else was like a blue or a green color that was cute, but I'm just not really down for. I'm trying to get a little bit more of the grown woman vibe since I am 45 years old now. So here we go. I'm basically gonna take um, what I've been using as a pencil case lately is actually a makeup bag. <laughs> I actually bought this on Amazon. I will also put the link in the description to this, but I actually have seen pencil pouches or stationary pouches that are just like this and when they're closed, I don't know, they kind of have like this look. This, this is really nice, but this was advertised as a cosmetic bag. Now it does have these little pouches inside, but again, you know, you don't know what's in there unless you're either looking for something specific or I don't know, you just, you, you, you might get lost with things being stuffed in these pockets. And then also to get to the bottom, um, you really kind of have to take everything out. And I have been enjoying slim pencil pouches lately or pouches lately. I'm gonna show you briefly this other one I bought on Amazon. Again, I will put the link in the description. And I originally found this one, look how nice and slim it is. And I bought this one actually as the one that I would throw into my purse, not necessarily my backpack. I don't always want to take a backpack when I go somewhere. Sometimes I just want to take a tote bag, my laptop, my planner, and then some very bare necessities. Now, again, this was a beige one. I think they have this in black. And although it looks cute, I'm always kind of iffy. Like I like seeing my stuff, but also I like things being hidden these days. Just it just looks clean, <laughs> you know, it's like an apartment. The more stuff you have showing versus throwing it in a box or, you know, just somewhere, um, you're just not gonna see your clutter as much. So that's kind of what I'm going for. So I'm going to basically take all my stuff from here and put it in here for you with a little extra twist. So first, just like, you know, that's the plastic on the inside. This actually came with these little kind of like kawaii looking um, enamel pins, or they're not enamel, it looks like they're plastic. Let me show you. So this is what came with it. Now I already knew I wasn't gonna use this y'all. This is definitely little kids style and they're, they're pretty cheap. I mean, they're, they're plastic and they're just to me, I'm, they're probably just going to go in the trash. Honestly, <laughs> I don't, I don't like them at all, but a little twist. I 
have my own collection of enamel pins that I have been keeping on here. And from time to time when I want to put things on a purse or something, in this case, I can pull it from my little collection. So this is going to be the fun part um, for me today. And yeah, we'll have to be very strategic because with enamel pins, you've also got the, the backing that's going to take up some room. So we will be a little strategic and play with this as we put this together. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is get everything in here that I need. <clears throat> Only thing with beige is, God forbid, you get a pen mark on it. Here, I'm just gonna have to. Don't realize how much you're stashing away until you dump it all out. Okay. So first things first, we're gonna put the pens in there since that also is the bulk of the volume and a pencil pouch. And I need to control the volume. Let's see. This is my newest pen collection. One day I'm gonna do a video on pens because you guys, I'm obsessed with the Pilot Friction pens. It has literally made me want to get back into a planner last year, which is what led me to create Planner Therapy. And here we are today. <laughs> so um, erasable pens, you guys, I don't have the best handwriting in the world and it just became annoying to have to constantly carry around whiteout tape. So this is, a, again, I'll put the links in the description down below. These are the four color or the five colors that came together. I think this is all of them. Yes, I believe so. So those are definitely gonna go in here. I like to write in my planner certain things with different colors. Of course, red being appointment, something I can't miss, like, like a new order. And green would be, if there's a, even though all my bills are automated, automatically paid, there are one or two that I just need to pay extra attention to. Those go in green. I like putting my child's appointments or events in blue, because he's a boy, so blue for boy. And Purple is where I just put events in general. So whether it's a soccer game, a concert, whatnot. And then of course the black pen, which I have tons more of, as you can see. I have a lot more than this y'all and I need to keep probably two in there. And we've got a little ruler just in case I need to line something. I, you guys, I like perfume minis and there is nothing that smells better than Pacifica's sandalwood perfume. And because it's, you know, sort of shaped like a pen, I do like to put it in here. I don't know how to explain it. It's like, if I go to a coffee shop and work, you know, it's kind of like putting on a little perfume, kind of like puts a little pep in your step. So there's that. I do like to carry a pencil, just one. And I've been using these for over 10 years. It's the Pentel Twist Erase. These are amazing, especially when you have a pretty thick uh, lead inside. So again, I will try to link all this in the description down below. If not, just subscribe to my channel because I will be doing obviously a lot of pen videos as well. I have tons of pens, who isn't addicted? Okay. Always need chapstick. It's the one thing I cannot live without. So that for sure is gonna go in here. I am slowly trying to go through my washi tapes. So this is about to run out. So that needs to go in there. And then I don't like this one. So I'm trying to use the crappier one first before I get to the pretty ones. So that's gonna go in there. And I still carry one wide out. Again, once in a while I carry or once in a while I use a pen in my planner by accident if I'm just in a hurry to write something down and then I need to erase it later. So this is the only way. I had two extra, <laughs> somehow these extra chaps or extra lip balms in a pot 
accumulated in here. So you know what? They accidentally find their way. Now, you saw me pull out some tech stuff. The only downfall about this pouch is there's no internal pockets. So I don't know. I might just have to get one of my teeny tiny Ziploc bags and just, I have some Ziploc bags that I ship some of my planner discs in. They're like, you know, two by three or three by four. So I might just use that so they don't, these little, you know, tech things don't spill out. Um, and then I always have to have, I have so many, because I've had many iPhones and iPads. I have so many of these. So I like to keep a little extra um, in case I am ever just completely left without, I don't know, in case my Air, my Apple AirPods are dead. Um, this is old school though. This is really, really old school. So I don't think I need those. I have another pair lying somewhere. So I'm gonna throw that in there. My cute, cute, teeny tiny. I've had this forever, y'all, like 10 years. Look how small and cute that is. So that stays in there in case, again, I need to staple something. I always, I've had this forever too. You can just see how it yellows, but it's Sally Hansen's Cuticle Massage Cream. I, it's just, you know, again, when you're, you know, basically kind of always writing and in this little planner world, sometimes you got to remind yourself to take care of your nails too. So that's going in there. Um, these post-it note flags, this somehow got in there. I usually keep this for when I'm reading a book and this I actually would use for my planner sometimes. I'm just trying to use these up y'all. They're ugly. I really want to start getting some, uh, white. I have some white tabs by post-it as well, but, um, I'm really trying to use up everything that you see because I feel guilty if I just keep buying products, especially these post-it notes that are just crazy colors. I'm, I'm trying to get rid of them. So, because post-it notes are awesome, number one, they're really, really needed, even with a planner, but I need to really see it. So the post-its are gonna go here and here's another set. I don't need that in there really. Here's some from Post-It, but these are very, very wide. Like, look how wide they are. Unless you really need it this wide. I like to keep this in case I need to make a section of my planner as a divider, if that makes any sense. So if anything, I'll probably put that here. I don't need this extra one. That was too much. And here are my transparent sticky notes. You guys, I tried to get into this. Um, this is by Diverse, Diverse, Diversity from Amazon. Uh, guess what y'all? The video had cut off and I literally didn't realize it because it's filming top down. So my phone is higher than my head, but it cut off and I didn't get to show you the fun part. So I'm going to kind of go over this again. Um, I think I left off where I was talking about the transparent, um, transparent post-it notes or post-its. I'm about to have in my shop for sale the clear white ones, which I do prefer so that you can just see the text easier. But um, the fun part that you guys didn't get to capture was when I decided to go ahead and throw some flare on here. This is just the start of some flare and only because there's no open pouch on this side, which I honestly wish there was just for another place to stash something, but it's all good. Now I have a little bit of a collection of, of enamel pins here. So the ones that I took are the ones I just wanted to start off with just to make it, just to make it kind of fun. So, um, at some point, if I could find some planner, stationary, specific, maybe even just some motivational enamel pens that I can buy in bulk and sell in my shop, this would be the reason why I would do it. You know, again, just to give you some a little flair with your stationary products, your planning stuff, um, or your school supplies that you need. 
And actually, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and put one more. This is one of my favorite ones, y'all. The I Need Space. And so let's just do that one. I'm putting these near the top since the bulk of items are here. And I'm just going to try to put this one in the middle. How funny is it that I got this beige one because it was the most grown basic color, yet here I am putting some enamel uh, enamel pen enamel pins for some flare on here. Only because this is just a very boring backside. Now you could put some pouches on here, kind of like those letter pouches, the fuzzy letter pouches that you see that are really popular. That would be really awesome to put on the side or just even just take pa actual uh, patches that people put on backpacks and stuff. You could probably just peel and stick a patch on here or those, like I said, those varsity letters that you can buy and you can just put your initials if you have a middle name. That would be really cool. So that could be another idea. But there it is, you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will put everything in the description down below. Bye-bye.